Ajá. We going on a road trip, road trip, road trip. Uh-huh. I'm packed and I'm ready to go. Woo. Where we going, Cali? Hey, where we going, Cali? Going on a road trip, road trip, road trip. Uh-huh. I'm packed and I'm ready to go. Woo. Where we going, Cali? Hey, where we going, Cali? I got my brother on my side and my dad in the front. My mama in the ride and we doing what we want. We sitting first class and yeah, we sit coach. God is on my side, so you know he do the most. Going on a road trip, a road trip, road trip. I'm packed and I'm ready to go. Okay. Where we going, Cali? Hey, where we going, Cali? Going on a road trip, road trip, road trip. I'm packed and I'm ready to go. Where we going, Cali? Hey, where we going, Cali? Luke 10, 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. just packing my bag. Thanks for tuning in. You came at the perfect time. Perfect time for what? I'm going on a road trip, but I have no idea what to pack. So guess what? I'm gonna pack everything in my room. I forgot my journal. Oh, and my crayons. Do you think I'm packing too much? I don't. You know who else would know what to pack? My friend Allie. Kels. Hey, Allie, what you up to? Well, I'm getting ready to go out with my parents. How about you? Me too. I'm going on a road trip with my family, and I have zero idea what to pack. I know, right? Okay, do you have your suitcase? My suitcase? Um, yeah, sure. Actually, I have my clothes, my guppy bears, my fruit snacks, my journal, and my stuffed animals, but I don't have my suitcase. Well, you kind of need that. What helps me when I get ready to go out on a trip is I make a list, and what's most important, I put at the very, very top. That makes so much sense. What's important should be on the top. That reminds me of a Bible story I heard at church. It's time for our Bible story. Long ago, God's people, known as the Israelites, used to live in a place called Egypt. But they were treated very poorly there. So God sent Moses to rescue the Israelites. Once they finally escaped, they had to travel for a very, very long time to a new land God promised them. Oh, like a road trip? <laughs> yes, in a way. One time during their journey, God met with Moses at the very top of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Wow. There God told Moses about how God's people should live. Like rules? Yep, rules to help them live right. The first rule or commandment God gave Moses was to not have other gods before the one true God. What does that mean? It means that God comes first. God should be the most important part of your life. That's true. The second commandment God gave was to not worship idols. What is an idol? An idol is anything you pay more attention to than you do to God. Like a toy? Yeah, can be a toy too. Why did God make this rule? You see, sometimes people forgot about God because they couldn't see God. God wanted the people to remember who had rescued them from Egypt and who was with them every day taking care of them. That's fabulous. It's so important 
time for us to put what's important as first. I can put God first by praying to God when I wake up every day. Or by thanking God first when something good happens. I know it would make God super happy when I do these things. Exactly. We obey God by putting God first. So, did you get your suitcase yet? I sure do. I realized I had everything else but the most important part. Great, so now you have a place to put all your snacks, all your clothes, and your toys. For sure. I knew you would be the best person to call and ask. By the way, where are you going? I'm going to Niagara Falls. Whoa! I always wanted to go there. Bye, Callie. Friends, on this road trip, guess who's coming with me? Guess. You! I'm taking my crazy, fun, amazing friends on my road trip with me. Catch you next time. I gotta pack quickly and get out of here. Luke 10, 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. I can love my God with all my heart. I can love my God with all my soul. I can love my
God's story, the Ten Commandments and the Golden Calf. So part of God's story is about one of the many times God forgave his family, and it begins like this. Remember how God chose Moses to lead his family out of slavery in Egypt? God wanted his family to be free and happy in the wonderful home he promised them, called Canaan. All they had to do was follow God home through the wilderness. The problem was, they kept disobeying God instead of following Him. They kept trying to do things their own way. So one day, while the Israelites were on their way to Canaan, God told them what He expected from His family. Basically, how to treat each other, how to love God, and how to be part of His team. And with God on their side, the Israelites wouldn't need to worry about anything. This sounded pretty good, so Moses went up a mountain called Sinai to talk to God about it. There, God gave them ten rules to live by, called Ten Commandments. Turns out, God had a lot more to say. He and Moses talked for 40 more days and nights. During that time, God's family got tired of waiting for their leader, so they asked Moses' brother Aaron to make them new gods to worship. But the very first commandment God had given Moses was, You must not have any other god but me. Aaron and the people had just heard that. But Aaron wanted to make the people happy more than he wanted to make God happy. So he collected all their gold, melted it down, and turned it into a calf. That's a baby cow. They worshipped the calf and said, These are the gods who brought us out of the land of Egypt. Well, God knew what was happening, and he told Moses to get back to the people. When Moses saw what they were doing, he was so angry that he smashed the Ten Commandments God had written for him on the ground. Then he burned the calf, ground it to powder, threw it into the water, and made the people drink it. Because it's a big deal when we choose to disobey God. Finally, Moses turned to Aaron and asked what happened. Aaron said, I threw their gold jewelry into the fire, and out came this calf. Even though the people disobeyed God, and even though they weren't all sorry for what they did, Moses begged God to forgive them. He reminded God how much he loved Israel. They were his special family. Of course, God did love them, and because Moses asked him to, God forgave them. See, God knew it would be impossible for his family to be perfect. That's why he sent them Moses, a leader who could show them how to follow God and remind God how much he loved his family. And for many years, God would continue to choose leaders, sometimes called prophets or judges or kings, who would tell God's family when they messed up and ask God to forgive them. Because God loves to forgive. And that's a story of forgiveness. But that's not all there is. Later, God sent his perfect son, Jesus, to rescue the whole world. He did that by taking the punishment that we deserve. Now, everyone in the whole world can become part of God's family. And one day, we'll live with Him in a perfect home, joyful and free, just like God planned all along. And that's a part of God's story. This is the story of the Song of Moses from the book of Deuteronomy. A long time ago, in the land of Israel, there was a man named Moses, and he was pretty swell. He was God's chosen leader of a whole bunch of people called the Israelites. Now the Israelites had a pesky little problem. They often would forget that God really, really loved them. They'd turn away and do some crazy things that would always lead to super bad, not great times. So God gave Moses a plan to help them remember and to never forget that God is good. So good. And they should. Put their trust in Him He said, write a song Have everyone sing along And memorize the words So if they start to forget About God's goodness The song of Moses will say Life is better when you live it God's way But why a song? Well, let me tell you because songs help us memorize all kinds of things Like the days of the week or the ABCs A melody will boost your memory And Moses knew this too So he did what God told him to do He said, God gave me a plan To 
help us remember and to never forget that God is good. So good. And we should. Totally should. Put our trust in Him. He said to write a song. Everyone sing along and memorize the words. So if we start to forget about God's goodness, the song of Moses will say, Life is better when you live it God's way. Everybody! Write a song, everyone sing along, and memorize the words. So if we start to forget about God's goodness, the song of Moses will say, Life is better when you live in God's way. Everybody! Life is better when you live in God's way. Woo! Life is better when you live in God's way. I move to the right and then left. Move to the right and then left. Move to the right and then left. They are the opposite. To the front and go back, step to the front and go back, step to the front and go back. They are the opposite. Let's all be hot and not cold They are the opposite 